This unit was placed into service uh, a few days ago, March 23rd, in efforts to help reduce the exposure and um, uh, the spread of the coronavirus. This apparatus is outfitted with additional equipment, the high, actually the highest level of uh, um, barrier protection. Uh, we have disinfectant uh, equipment on there that we can use to help. Uh, if anything, it's gonna help our crew members provide the, the highest level of service they can. Uh, when we show up, we can further that care by um, sending ourselves in with our, our, our appropriate PPE uh, to help limit the exposure. That's our ultimate goal. Fire District understands there's a level of severity that goes with this apparatus. So when they ask for volunteers, uh, I, I almost didn't even hesitate. We've had multiple responses uh, just over the course of uh, our two days on, on shift. The, the crew that we uh, took over from, they also had uh, a couple calls. And keep in mind, we're responding to those uh, possibly uh, a patient that's presenting symptoms, it could be the coronavirus, as well as the confirmed cases of the positives, right? So when we show up, it is, it's the front line and we need to make sure that we're wearing the highest level of protection possible. We're taking every precaution uh, available so that way we, again, don't bring it back to the station. That's our ultimate goal. But at the same time, uh, in a pandemic like this, you have to have multiple goals and that's providing the highest level of service possible to the community. Um, at the same time, making sure that we, we don't bring this back.